Hello, I'm Jay Greer, the president at Compass College. Today we wanted to share our plans for the health, safety of our students and our start of on campus in fall of this year. We're grateful for God's protection at Compass and the community of Compass during this unprecedented time with this COVID virus. Let's talk about the safety first. Our first priority is to provide our students a safe environment to learn in. So we moved to remote classes on March 17th, and we've continued remote classes for the first six weeks of the summer term. The Compass COVID planning team has been meeting and developing the policies, procedures, and training needed to provide a safe environment for the students and faculty in an on-site college environment. The policies follow our governor's executive orders, the Center for Disease Control recommendations, and the local requirements from Kent County. Compass's fall term will begin on site in the last couple weeks of August. One of the advantages for students coming to a college like Compass is our class sizes are smaller, so they're not expected to sit with 30 students or several hundred students in a class. Our student to teacher ratio is 10 to 1, which gives Compass a community and a lower risk environment for the COVID virus. If classes have over 20 students, we can move them to the 160 seat theater or to the 2000 square foot soundstage so they have all the needed social distancing space. Compass is also a film and media college that has a number of personal relationships with leaders in the industry. Members of our boards are on the COVID planning committees of the Industries Producers Guild and Directors Guild one of our values is that they are sharing the industry procedures for on-site shoots with Compass so we can educate our students and better protect the entire production team during their online classes. I want to just take a few minutes also though and talk about the fact that Compass reaches out to its students and we've been reaching out to our students since March, not only with the remote classes, but also with Zoom messages, with text, with phone calls and emails. I'm really grateful for the Compass faculty and staff who've been reaching out to all of our students on a regular basis. Even our faith-based life group has continued during this entire time from March till now to help build the Compass spiritual community during this time. Compass has even provided groceries to its students who had a need and is still providing groceries to our students who have a need. Another thing I'm really pleased to be able to share with you today is that Compass was able to secure Department of Education funds that we will be sharing with our qualified students over the next week or two. And that is to help them with their incremental costs from the virus. Now the next goal was to provide the training students need to best help them prepare for careers in the film and media industry. This industry is growing very fast as studios online streaming services, marketing firms, and most businesses are changing their business model and adding visual storytelling to grow their businesses with their customers and to reach out to their employees. We've taken several initiatives at Compass to continue to help our students learn hands-on even though they've been at home over the last 75 days. Some of those opportunities included the quarantine mobile video competition that was led by Amanda Maurer and 20-year assistant director of Nashville, Orville, and 911, Corey Pollard, who judged our students' submissions, and we awarded money for the winning videos. Corey has also agreed and has been meeting every two weeks, or twice a week, with our students who are working on their capstone film project to shoot this summer, so they're getting real-life industry counsel. In addition, during the last eight weeks, we brought the film and media industry to Compass. We've hosted six Zoom interviews with successful industry professionals and leaders. And what did they talk about? How did they start their career? How did they progress with their career? And what do they look for in prospective employees? Our students were able to submit questions during each of those interviews. These industry friends of Compass have a passion for helping the next generation of visual storytellers, including the Compass students and alumni. Some of those people on those interviews included actor Charles Esten, 
from The Office, Nashville, and Netflix's number one show, Outer Banks, the senior vice president of Affirm Films for Sony, Josh Nadler, the senior vice president of Universal Studios for The Dark Universe, Holly Golan, and one of the top three female directors of TV shows nationally, including Bull, Desperate Housewives, Beverly Hills, 90210, and 200 epi other episodes, Bethany Rooney. In addition, we had the producer of Elf and the writer of Sully, Todd Kormanensky, come on, and we had the president of Taproot Pictures, right in Grand Rapids, who's a Compass alumni, share about how he started his business in Michigan and how he's proceeded with his business in Michigan at this part of his career. There are two more scheduled interviews if you're interested. One is with Emmy Award-winning writer John Tinker, who will be on June 4th, and the next one is on June 18th with successful producer of X-Men, Wolverine, Fantastic Four, Star Trek, and many other films that have grossed over $2 billion, Ralph Winter, who's been on our advisory board now for a dozen years. All of these efforts show Compass's commitment to give our creative students those opportunities to prepare for their careers, even while they're home. Once again, our goal is to help our students continue above average college graduation rate and to develop new industry opportunities. We look forward to serving and preparing each of these students now and in the, in the future. We encourage you to check our website, our Facebook page, and Instagram to keep updated with what's happening at Compass and with these other opportunities. If you have questions, you're welcome to send those to info at compass.edu. Thank you for listening and being part of the Compass community. Have a great day.